Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani, and today on Raised Line, I'm really happy to be joined by Dr. Brian Radville. Dr. Radbill is a chief medical officer at Mount Sinai Morningside, which is located in Manhattan. I'd love to hear what you, you know, more about your background and what got you interested in becoming a physician and then nephrology. So I, uh, I grew up in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and I went to the University of Michigan, where uh, actually I was a, a, an English major. And um, I think for a very brief period of time, I thought about being a writer, uh, maybe a journalist. But uh, my father was a physician, so I think medicine was kind of in my blood. So after college, uh, I went to medical school at uh, Hahnemann in Philadelphia. But, uh, you know, when you're in medical school, you start thinking about, you know, whether or not you want to go into medicine versus surgery. I ended up choosing medicine because I didn't really want to be proceduralist. And uh, I think that plays a part in how I ended up being a nephrologist because I came to Mount Sinai after medical school to do my uh, uh, residency in internal medicine. And very early on, I really thought that I wanted to specialize but I didn't want to cath, bronch, or scope anything. That left more the cognitive uh, specialties. And to be honest, I chose uh, nephrology because I think it scared me the most. It's, it's very challenging. I think a lot of people, when you talk about salt and water balance and acid-base disorders and electrolytes and, and dialysis, um, it, it, these are hard concepts. Um, and I just thought if I could uh, become a nephrologist, and I, I had a lot of nephrology kind of mentors, um, this was something that would always challenge me um, and make me um, really, I think, get kind of the nuts and bolts of, of kind of how a very complex organ works. Um, so that's what led me to, uh, to, to nephrology. And um, I actually became the medical director of our dialysis program. And yeah, that's, that's kind of how I got at least the beginning of my career. What advice would you give to current and future healthcare professionals about uh, meeting the challenges of the COVID pandemic and, and beyond? That, that's a great question. I think that even, even before COVID, you know, people would ask me about would you want your kids to, uh, to go into medicine? And, you know, the reality is, I mean, you can, you can make a lot more money and have a lot less stress doing something else, right? There's a lot of opportunities out there, but I think you go into medicine maybe because you don't know what else you would do because you're drawn to it. And I just think that medicine is challenging. Uh, it allows you to kind of be with other people that are most vulnerable and provide support, um, even if there's nothing you can do medically. So it's very emotionally gratifying, although it can be draining as well. But I will say that during the, the, the pandemic, I think what's become very clear is is clarity of purpose. And I think that's something all during the pandemic for a lot of us, uh, it was um, stressful, obviously, but in some ways exhilarating. And it just gave us all this, this sense of meaning. You know, um, you really understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. And I think that quite frankly, that's something that's lacking in a lot of other professions nowadays. Um, but I never felt that way more um, than, than during the pandemic and being a part of a healthcare team. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.